Good morning class. Today we are going to see the writing of IPC name of writing of IPC name of aromatic compounds that is uh, nomenclature of aromatic compounds. Say for example the most important aromatic compound is this one where you have got a six membered ring and we have got an alternate carbon-carbon uh, double bond and uh, the name for this we can call it as cyclohex and if you give the numbering to this one two three four five six then it will be one three five triene why triene because there is a three double bond or simply we call it as benzene so this can be represented in this way also or in other form it is represented in this form where the one and two two and three the position of the double bond are alternate whereas we can also represent the aromatic compounds or benzene by just a uh, making a cyclohexane and a circle inside it next these are the important aromatic compounds please note it down in your class notes uh, suppose if you have got a aromatic compound benzene and to that benzene if one hydrogen is replaced by methyl then we call it as methyl benzene or we call it as commonly toluene if you have got cs2 cs3 then we call this as ethyl benzene similarly if you have got chlorine then chlorobenzene bromine bromine benzene iodine iodobenzene and if you have got oh hydroxy then we call it as hydroxy benzene or commonly we com call this compound as phenol no2 nitrobenzene ns2 amino benzene or we call aniline if you have got an aldehyde functional group then we call it as benzaldehyde if you have got acid c double one oh then we call it as benzoic acid if you have got ocs3 that is methoxy then we can call it as methoxy benzene or we call anisole this we call it as acetophenone having a ketone functional group this is benzyl chloride cocl this benzamide if you have got a two benzene ring attached with each other and which is an aromatic compound this we call it as naphthalene and if you have got three benzene ring attached to each other we call it as anthracene so these are the important aromatic compounds that we frequently come across while we study the organic compounds so it is very important to know the structure and the name for these compounds so please make a note on it in your class notes so now how to name the aromatic compounds so before that we need to understand the substitution if you have got uh, more than one substitution then how we can name that compound so just remember that we can number it as one two three four five six okay now this one uh, where the functional group is attached this is a this is a functional group and this we can give the position one okay and with respect to this this position 2 and 6 is considered as ortho position with respect to this one 2 and 6 is considered as ortho position and with respect to this one 1 uh, 3 and 5 is considered as meta positions okay 3 and 5 are called as meta position and lastly this 4 which is opposite to that functional group we call it as para position so just remember that uh, with respect to 1, 2 and 6 are ortho positions, 3 and 5 are meta positions, and 4 is para position. Now, in a similar way for that, so we try to name this uh, di substitution aromatic compounds. Say, for example, we have got uh, benzene ring attached with CS3, CS3. So, you have to give the numbering from that side where we the first substituent is attached. So, this is 1, then you can give this as 2. 3 4 5 6 okay now you can name this compound as at 1 and 2 we have got methyl groups so 1 2 and since we have got 2 methyl dimethyl benzene okay or we can also call it as ortho xylene okay ortho xylene similarly this we can name it as 1 3 dimethyl benzene or meta xylene because this is present as meta and this compound we can call this as 1,4 dimethyl benzene or para xylene. Next, uh, this is chlorobenzene as we know. Now, if you want to name this compound, so 
one two three four five six like that so at two position we have got chloro so we can write two chloro and this is methyl benzene or we call toline okay or you can also give this as ortho chloro with respect to this this is ortho position ortho chloro this is toline similarly this is a para position so para chloro toline or four chloro toline this one if you have got two benzene uh, sorry two chlorine atom in the benzene then you can call it as one two dichlorobenzene okay or ortho dichlorobenzene this is meta dichlorobenzene or one three dichlorobenzene this is one four dichlorobenzene or para because the position is para if you have got these three groups okay so with respect to this one this will occupy one two three four five six so two four and six are substituents so we give the position two four six dichlorotoline okay also in this way we can name the aromatic compounds so assignment for today assignment number six give the ipc name of the following one will be this one okay one second one third one is this one then fourth one fifth one sixth one okay complete this assignment and send it in my mail